listen, we want to talk to you real quick about Lucas Cedar. You know, Mike and I go way back, and and I actually had to learn things by knowing Mike about Lucas Cedar. Y'all not only sell cedar, but you also mill cedar, right? We do. And you'll talk a little bit about that, how you mill, like, mill lumber for certain specs and stuff? Yeah, I mean, so 90, probably 85 or 90% of our business is just selling cedar. We we are um, probably one of the largest cedar dealers in, in probably most of all Texas. Can we turn his volume up? We, um, we just stock a, a lot of cedar, everything from, you know, one by fours all the way up to, you know, eight by eight timbers, you know, larger stuff and a lot of different pattern stocks. And um, the milling happened because we used to outsource a lot of our common patterns, you know, an old 105s and double 105s, 117 patterns, things like that, that um, you couldn't find around anymore, and especially in cedar. And so we used to outsource all that. And the companies that would do that for us just didn't take the pride and the care in it that that we wanted to. And so we uh, bought a couple machines and started doing that stuff ourselves. And it's, it's grown. And um, um, what we try to do is the, the small jobs that people can't go out. You're not buying right. thousands and thousands of feet, but somebody's trying to make a repair. How about brick mold? Can y'all make brick, brick mold off of a spec or do y'all have some uh, knives in a, in a, in a machine to, to make brick mold for like around windows and all that? We do. Um, we, we have a basic pattern and if our pattern's close enough, then that's great and if it's not then we can we have the ability to make those knives or create those patterns exactly to what what you would need daniel on the so you said 105 siding and and so my experience with 105 siding it's pine so you mill other stuff besides cedar right correct but we actually stock make in stock the 105 pattern in cedar well, you know, but, like but 105. We can use other products. Like 105 is a perfect example, and cedar is a perfect example. It's like it's it's like whenever that house was built, it had a different size 105 or a different size cedar. Do you tend? Do you have the ability to match those cedars up with? Because a lot of times we're just doing small little repairs. They're seven and a quarter or five and a quarter, right? There's right. two sizes. Well, I mean, even the three quarter. You take the three quarter cedar, which is one by. That one by has changed over time. Oh yeah, and you know, I want to mention that too because talking to Daniel, I got a little bit more information, and I kind of pull it out of him that, that Mike didn't give me. Y'all carry three quarter inch cedar, right? The thickness, so. If someone wants a higher end fence, will last much longer than that. That you know that cedar's gotten so thin, you about read a newspaper through it, right? And it bends. Oh yeah, it bends, bends and warps and right. all that. But that three quarter inch board, which I I used to buy a lot of my wood from Montalbano because they still carried a three quarter inch board. They don't do that anymore. But y'all stock that, right, Daniel? Yeah. So the pickets and the regular you know boards are a little different animals, but in the regular boards that common that that new nominal is 11 16 it's right at three quarter inch on all the one by material um when you get to pickets that normal is a five eighths right and so we still stock a three quarter inch picket and we stock the regular one by material and then but we also have the ability to custom cut rough cedar you know in the full old full one inch material like if you're making a repair that's 25 or 30 years old and that one by four is still a one by four, you know, that's um, a really good, and you can still can, do that as well. And when you can do that with other stuff too, right? I mean, like, sure. Like the one Oh five siding, the one Oh five siding changed over time. So if we end up with a one Oh five siding that we can't match up, then you can match that up. Well, and, and what y'all are using that 105 siding for is a lot of these high-end houses now, uh, even though they have hardy, they use cedar to do an accent area, like in an entryway or something like that, right? Because I'm seeing that. And I live in East End and close to downtown Houston. Of course, my whole neighborhood is is changing fast. And uh, and I see these houses that are tearing down a, an old house and they're putting up a, a million-dollar house, and there's a lot of cedar in spots like under the underhangs and special places because it really is classy 
Yeah. And and I, I'm seeing that. So you, that's really the kind of the, the, the part of the industry that you are targeting with those kind of materials, right, Daniel? Correct. And so, you know, I'd say the majority of our business is all uh, custom homes and custom, you know, work like that. It's not um, necessarily the track. So a lot of um, restaurants you know, and, and, and commercial uh, buildings and stuff, they're doing accents on the interior of their building, like a lot, a lot in office spaces and all. They really like uh, calling you guys and using you, right? Correct. Right. So, but it seems like you're a natural for the repair industry too, because a lot of times we're trying to match up, you know, 90% of the material we have and we're good. 10% is spoiled or ruined. So y'all can, y'all can help us in that regard. Sure. We can, we can match those old profiles and, and things that. And now that you, y'all, you guys find. aren't open on weekends, now He used right? a technical term. So you have to tell him what that technical term oh. is. Pat. He used the word profile. So tell oh, him profile. Yeah. Let's real quick. Let's talk about a profile profiles. Matter of fact, there's a profile chart. That's pretty universal. And when he said 105 siding, that's a siding that has, um, well, one thing is it's a tongue and groove. So in other words, each piece fits mm-hmm. on the other piece. And then, like, it's got a male-female to right. it. And then, and then the top of it has, like, a little swoop to it. And and that's called 105. And then you have uh, uh, number 117. You know what that is, right? The tr- traditionally, do, we yes. call it shiplap, <laughs> right? Right. Because it looks like the side of a boat. And uh, you, can y'all cut that, too, in cedar? We do. And, uh, you know, with... Uh Oh, Chip and Joanna, shiplap became real popular, and, and we sell a lot of shiplap <laughs> now because of that. We manufacture a lot of shiplap because of that. Well, that's great. That's great information. And you can get L- Lucas Cedar off of uh, MassivePassiveShow.com. And, uh, matter of fact, Daniel, thank God, he knows how to use Facebook. So I sent you the links to the Facebook <laughs> pages, right? You have those? I have them, yes. I don't. I don't get on there. Is I try to stay off of there, to be honest. But well, we're gonna if you I, don't advertise, what I want you to do is make sure you send us information so we can post it for you because you are a very important vendor to this business. Yeah, more more important than most people realize. They don't know that they have that option until they walk into a place and say, "I had that trim and I couldn't match it up, so I replaced all the trim." With right. Nine times out of ten, right. A place like Daniel's can make it. Right. And, and it's a lot sure. cheaper to make a well, few expensive feet. Let me tell you, since they, y'all have your own cutters, so basically what you could do is someone that brought you a piece of molding, y'all could send it out and get the teeth made, right? The blades, the knives, do- and then y'all could mill that, all that wood for them, right? I, I actually do that. We do that ourselves. So you make the, the, the knives yourself there, right? Correct. Oh, God, I'm so glad I asked you that question because I, I, I circle saw is over off of Ella, right? In 610. And I've dealt business right. with circle saw and all those guys, since they were a little bitty and I was a little bitty, we all know each other. And whenever I do a house in the Heights and they had all these weird moldings, right? That are right. hundred years old. I would take a piece in there and I'd, I'd get Randy to make the knives. Right. And it, and, and it, he wouldn't charge me with a knife. The knife cost like $150 to make it. And then, but what he'd do, he'd keep the knife, right? And then I'd, I'd, I'd cut all the trim to the right width, and then he'd run it off for me. So I get a whole house full of trim that matched the existing exactly. And then, and then he would have the knife because someone later would come in that was working in that area and said, Randy, I've got this weird problem. He said, don't worry about it. I made a knife for Pat, <laughs> and, and I still have it, and I can make all the molding you want. If you'll just cut it to size for me, we'll run it. And what Randy would do, he'd charge you a great price and then because he was using the money to buy food for the deer feeder, <laughs> right, and to spend on a deer lease. So there's now that's a rabbit hole. Well, listen, that's but for listen, sure a rabbit yeah. hole. The reason if I'm you're telling you all that stuff, that's why you want to call call me and call Ray because we have been in this business forever. We know if he doesn't know somebody, I know him, and if I don't know somebody, he knows him, and uh, that's the beauty of, of working with us. Uh, before we let him go, I want to ask him one question because he he brought up about the ship lap and how that became popular, and what I just wonder how many customers are getting that are doing exactly what we're doing and what we do is if we buy a high-end house 
we'll take that foyer or we'll take that closet or we'll do something and we'll throw in some wood that has some real quality and, and uniqueness to it that you don't see every day. Right. Do you get a lot of business that comes from that kind of mindset where people are trying to add that little extra Ambiance. attractiveness to the house, that accent wall? We do. And, and that's, that's, uh, bigger builders as well as just individuals that come in that say they just want to do an accent wall in a bedroom or in their their foyer like you say uh where they just want to do something a little bit different and and that's where the ship lap and the um some of those different pattern you know come in and uh, people just want to put that that one wall in um, and it to really like you said enhance the the look and the value yeah when i was doing work all the time i mean as a as a worker as a contractor I used to keep a, a molding chart in my wood shop so I could just go in my automatically and identify it right. because I was having to having to show my con- carpenters, you know, what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, and you got to put a name on it, and every one of those things has a weird name it to it. It has a name and a number. Yeah. And that number is actually the name. Right. Believe it or not, if it says, you know, 121, that's not just right something that says, well, you know, we're, we're lining everything out from 1 to 100, right? right. That 121 right. actually says what it is. So actually, you know, if you're doing these bowlings a lot, you learn those numbers, right, Daniel? Yeah, you do. They, they, uh, there's a lot of them though. <laughs> he said, he said that with a sigh, like, Oh my God, don't, don't put me I, on the spot I, and ask me about don't one. Quiz no, I me. could hear the frustration don't, don't in his voice. <laughs> like, well, Daniel, thank you for calling yeah, thanks in for calling and, in. and thank you for supporting us. And we're going to do everything to support you because you're such an important part to this business and to making a really well, taking you. an average product and making it great. Yeah. I mean, you're not just important to us. You're important to, to every person that listens to the show and every person that we help along our path. And we've got a lot of those. Right. So-